Right, so this right here, mm -hmm. this is what talks to your rain gauge. Your rain gauge is mounted on the fence in the backyard. Mm -hmm. It is a wireless device and it does take a battery. Mm -hmm. It's a watch battery. It's that CR2032, which is a very common watch battery. Okay. That right there, that is your uh, battery indicator in the mm -hmm. top left. Okay. Um. Now, this rain gauge is pretty much hands off except for that battery. So that's mm -hmm. what you want to keep an eye on. Okay. If that battery starts dropping a cell or two, go out there and change it. I see. So, yearly was a rough life of the battery? You know, I don't know. I've never, I think they're going to last a long time. They could last up to a year. I don't know. But okay. like I said, that's what you want to keep an okay. eye on. Got it. And it's a very common battery. You can get them pretty much at any, any store has mm -hmm. that, that battery. Okay. Now this right here, this is the signal strength to that device. Oh. So you got a good signal strength to it, okay? Now, this rain gauge, it protects you two different ways, okay? The first way it protects you is if it gets close to freezing outside, it shuts mm -hmm. off your sprinklers so they can't run. Mm -hmm. So that's what this is. This is a thermometer that runs up and down right here. Mm -hmm. Now there's a dot in that window. That dot right there is 37 degrees. So when the outside temperature falls and hits that dot, that's when it shuts off your sprinkler for temperature. Mm. So you don't, you know, bust heads and stuff like that. Now, this on the far right, this is the rain gauge, okay? So this is the other way it protects you is if it rains, it's gonna shut off your sprinkler so you don't overwater the yard, okay? okay. But that's what this is. So you also have a, a dot in the window right here. That's the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. So once it starts raining, it's going to fill this up. And once it hits that halfway, it shuts off the sprinklers for rain. Okay. So, but that's all this does. This communicates to that rain gauge out there on the fence. Okay. Now over here on the left, this is your main controller for your sprinkler system. Mm -hmm. But here it lists out all of your zones for your sprinkler oh, system. Okay. So you have 10 zones total, all right? Now that's full coverage of your yard. So that's the back, the sides, and the front. Okay. And if you notice, your trees are on a separate zone by themselves. Mm. So your front tree and your back tree will mm. water together on that zone. Okay. So now also this number one zone that says flower bed, and this number nine zone that says parkway. Mm. Those two zones are soaker hoses underneath. Mm. So you won't ever see heads pop up and spray uh -huh. in those two zones. Okay. Now the parkway is that little strip out there by the street. Okay. In between the sidewalk and the street. Oh, That's okay. the parkway. Got it. That is soaker hoses underneath that uh -huh. sod. And then here at the front at your flower bed, it's uh -huh. soaker hoses underneath I that see. mulch. Okay. okay? Mm. Now all your other zones in between, so number two all the way through number eight, those are the heads that pop up and spray on those zones, okay? okay? Now your soaker hose zones, so your number one and your number nine, those two zones run about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh -huh. That's about the standard we run those for. Uh -huh. All your other zones are about seven to nine minutes. Okay. Now there's, there is an exception to that when it comes to your side yards. So the, the sides in between the home on this side and in between the homes on this side. Mm. Now you don't want to water seven to nine minutes on the side yards because mm. that's excessive. Because if your neighbors are watering and you're watering mm. the same amount of time, you can keep the sides really wet. Mm. So the side yards, you only want to water like three or four minutes tops mm. on the sides. Mm. Everything else can be seven or eight, and then your soaker hoses are 15 to 20 mm. minutes. But we'll go, we'll go through that in a second. Now, your watering days down here at the bottom, this is your days of the week that it's going to water. Mm. So this has not oh. been adjusted yet. Okay. So right now it's watering every day of the week. Uh. Now, what I tell everyone is you want to water on each end of the week, like a Monday and a Friday, mm. a Tuesday and a Saturday, something like that. So we can set that today if you want to. Yes, let's set it up now. What do you want to do, Monday, Friday, or Tuesday, Saturday? Uh, does it matter? It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't okay. matter. Then we're just like Monday. I'll do a Monday and Friday. Okay, sounds good. All right, so... If you can see right now, it's it's flashing on Monday, mm. and it says on. Mm. 
and that's good. We want to leave it on. So we're going to use the arrow to skip it and we're going to go to Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So now Tuesday's flashing, it says on. We want to turn it off. Mm -hmm. So we hit the minus sign to turn that day off. Got it. Now we're on Wednesday. We want oh, to turn it okay. off. We hit the minus sign. Now we're on Friday. Mm -hmm. we're, we're on Thursday. Thursday. So we want to turn Thursday off. Now we're on Friday. We want to leave that one alone. Mm -hmm. So we arrow and skip it. Then we turn off Saturday. Then we turn off Sunday. Okay. So now it's set for Monday and Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, in the future, if you wanted to change it, that's how you do it. Okay. So like I said, the minus sign is going to go turn every day off. Mm -hmm. The plus sign is going to turn days on. Mm -hmm. So okay. as simple as that. Cool. Now, the next thing is the run times. That's the time each of these zones is going to run for. Mm -hmm. That's why I was telling you how long the soaker hoses run, how long your other zones run. Mm -hmm. So if you look, this is the number one station that your, oh, okay. that your flower bed, that's a soaker hose, but they got it at 25 minutes. So that's way high. Mm. So we need to drop this down. I'm, I'll put them at 15 minutes, mm. okay? So that's good for that one. Number two, that's your front yard. Mm -hmm. They got it at 10 minutes. So that needs to be about eight minutes. Mm. So I'm gonna take it to eight. Okay. Number three, that's your right side. So that's okay. a side yard. Uh -huh. That's a that's the one you you don't want to water it that heavily. Mm. So I'm going to put this at four minutes. Mm. Now number four, five, and six are all backyard zones. Mm. Okay, they got them a little high at ten minutes. I'm going to drop them to eight. Mm. There's five. I'm going to drop it to eight. Six. I'll drop it to eight. Mm. Now we're on seven. This mm -hmm. is your left side. Mm. I'm going to put that at four minutes mm -hmm. as well. Now, this is weird because they say seven is left side, eight is the left side, but mm. technically eight is the left front. Okay. That's this area right uh, here. That's technically your front yard, but it is on the left side. Okay. So I'm going to leave that one at eight minutes. Okay? okay. Now, number nine, that's the parkway. That's that strip out there by the street. Okay. They got it way high at 25 minutes. I'm going to drop it to 15 as well okay and now your last zone is the trees they got it at 11 minutes i'm going to put that one at nine minutes okay for the trees so all your times are set you can adjust these if you want to so if you start noticing your yards turning a little brownish or maybe not as green as it mm -hmm. is you can come in here and add more time to each okay. one of these zones if you wanted to okay now your the last thing is the start times mm -hmm. This is the time of the morning it's gonna come on and run, okay? They got it at 5 a.m. Mm. You can adjust this to whatever you want. Um, I usually set them at 5.30 in the morning, mm. but you can leave it at five if you want. It's up to you. Does it matter? Like, why it doesn't, is it? it okay. doesn't matter. Okay, no. it, the only thing that matters is what time you leave to go to work. Okay. So you don't want them running when you're backing out of the uh, driveway and get your car wet and that kind of thing. Okay. So. So we try to do it early, early in the morning. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be spraying on your car and everything when you're backing out. Okay. So we'll leave it at five o'clock. And mm -hmm. if, you need to, if you need to adjust it, you can. Okay. But that's the first watering time mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. If you hit the arrow, that's a second watering time, mm -hmm. which we wanna turn this off because mm -hmm. we don't wanna water twice a day. Mm -hmm. So you take this time up to midnight and it goes to off. Oh, okay. But that's the second watering time. You also have a third and you oh. also have a fourth. Oh, okay. So I don't know who's going to ever do that, but if you wanted to water four times a day, you can do it. Got it. But we got all those adjusted. Your date and time is already set. Um, now this auto position, this is where you want to leave it at all times, unless you come out here to do some manual watering or you're going to do any programming changes. When you get done, always flip it back to auto. Okay. Because when you leave it in auto, it's going to run whatever's programmed into it. And it puts the rain gauge in control. Oh, uh, okay. So now you also have manual watering. Okay. So basically this is you coming out here. And let's say you want to just add some extra watering to the yard. Mm -hmm. So when you turn it over to manual watering, it says all for all zones. Then you can plug in a time limit here of five minutes, 10 minutes, mm -hmm. whatever you wanted. Uh, you can then start it, 
and it's going to water every zone for oh, that amount of time. Got it. Now, let's say you don't want to water everything. Let's say you just want to water your front yard. You can arrow over to whatever zone you wanted to water. So we'll go to your front yard, which is number two. Mm -hmm. And then you just hold this right arrow and it'll start and it's going to start watering your front yard over here. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay. So. And then we'll we'll turn it off. And that's one last thing to show you is this seasonal adjust. Mm. So this is a quick way to make an adjustment to all of your zones in one setting. Mm. So basically, if you look, this thing says 100%, okay? That's normal, 100%. But let's say we're about to go into the summertime. Let's say you wanna add more watering time to your yards or to all your zones. Basically, you can take this up to 150%. What that does is that adds 50% more time oh. to everything across all your zones. Got it. So if we had this at 20 minutes, now it goes to 30 minutes, mm. and then it does that for everything mm. all the way down. Now let's say once we go into the fall and the winter time, you're not going to want to water as much. You can take this all the way down. Like 80? Yeah, you can do like 50% and you cut everything in half Got across it. all your zones. That's smart. But any time that you make an adjustment to the seasonal adjust above or below 100 percent when you turn this back to auto it's going to stay lit here to let you know that you have it modified oh. so if we go back to seasonal and we turn it back to 100 percent mm -hmm. when we turn it back to auto it goes away got it so, okay uh, that's pretty much it now this isn't a smart feature mm. but you can download an app for this rainbird mm -hmm. and you can actually control this through that app on your phone that's cool so it's got this link thing on it okay but that's what this little module is uh, right here okay so what does the yellow sensor do oh that's your rain that's your rain gauge so when you turn it it's just letting you know that it's active but that's your uh, that's your rain gauge on okay the fence. i see so. Okay. But that's